this video clip provides a glimpse into possibilities for hobby based projects re related to microcontrollers so what you're looking at is uh, getting started with Arduino Arduino is the name of the microcontroller and in the sketch what you're currently looking at is Arduino Dumilano this product has been discontinued and replaced with Arduino Uno so you can either go to Hacktronics website or Sparkfun S P A R K F U N www.sparkfun.com to get the latest in these microcontrollers so what I'm about to demonstrate now is a simple circuit that I, that I have devised based on one of the examples in this book by Massimo Benzi who is also co-founder of Arduino what you see here is a photoresistor and it's sensitive to light and what you see here is light emitting diode and the microcontroller is what regulates their behavior the microcontroller in turn is powered and interacts with my computer or laptop here through this interface also called uh, sketch based uh, dialog box so I can actually write a program again I'm trying my best to zoom but it doesn't seem very amenable to zooms so here's an example of the sketch that you write sketch is just a program that you write uh, in, in this file and there of course with each program there is some syntax involved and that you know, once you follow the syntax and understand the syntax obviously uh, you you should be easily able to write uh, some basic programs and even modify a few so with the sketch that I've written what I'm saying is if the value of the resistance changes because the photoresistor is sensitive to light my light emitting diode should signal the changes in a certain way and so here are different pins on this Arduino Dumilano board in case if you wonder if it's discontinued why, why am I showing this well it's because this is the only one I have uh, eventually after I have enough money saved I'll buy a new one but this one seems to be working good for now so this wire here is the one that takes the input from the sensor and these are the digital output wires this is the analog input and these are power and ground wires for that photoresistor here's the breadboard that has these two circuits and obviously they are not in related in any way except through the microcontroller so there is no magic here except the magic what we call physics and then I'm going to wave my hand over the photoresistor which means I'm going to obstruct the amount of light incident on the photo photoresistor which means it's going to change its resistance and that would be reflected in my light emitting diode that you see in the blue to shut down or be powered up and as I just try to kind of you can see the fluctuations in the LED as I try to reduce the amount of light on it so it's totally covered partly covered and now again you can see the light emitting diode glowing at its full now this is just one indication or one glimpse of uh, the control that you can achieve with that Arduino microcontroller likewise you can also control electric motors you can also use other sensors like touch sensor switches and a lot more so if you feel interested I strongly encourage you to learn about Arduino and then use it in some uh, use it in whatever science or engineering project that you may be interested in there is no limit to what you can do with Arduino and that if you would learn, like to learn more or like to get started you just want to go to www.arduino a r d u i n o so that's the spelling for Arduino dot cc and there's a website that will take you there let me see if I can put it on my laptop to illustrate the same so 
possess the Arduino website and there are different links that you can follow if you know how to browse the internet you should have no trouble in getting started alternatively if you have some mo mo extra monies you may as well buy this tab this book it is pretty handy reference and makes for an easy start or less frustrations in getting started with Arduino with that said I'll stop here bye now